Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking on the Indian Creek Greenway. And you may be wondering why I'm hiking on a paved path. It's because I'm out here to show you the cicadas. They are loud and very, uh, very noisy in the trees around us, so lend your ear. Periodic cicadas like this live underground for as long as 17 years. In this case, I think it's a 13 year brood. And so uh, every 13 years, they come out and they climb up the trees. And here you can see their shells. These are empty. <laughs> That's what they looked like when they were in the ground. Um, they split their shells open and uh, they come out and dry their wings off and, uh, and then they fly away as adults. Here's what they look like as adults. There are several different species in Brood 13. I don't know them, can't tell them apart. I don't know enough about them. But whoop, one just flew past me. <laughs> there he is. But they are striking. They have red eyes. And uh, it's the males that make all the noise. They have special organs for it. So unlike crickets that rub their legs together, cicadas have special organs in their thorax that make that noise. And uh, they got two of them and they can be really loud. So after the females have found the males, once they've mated, the females then lay eggs in the branches of the trees. They lay like 500 of them or something like that. And uh, when the eggs hatch, they drop down to the ground and they burrow down deep underground, about eight feet or so. They, uh, and uh, they live out the next few stages of their life completely underground. And they don't come back out until 13 years later. They come out by the millions and I think we're maybe even past the peak of them. There were a lot more. Just took a while for the weather to get nice enough for me to get out here and film some. You might be able to see them flying around up there in the sunlight. They're large. They have a lot of predators, everything eats them, but uh, they come out in such huge numbers they swamp the predators who uh, just all can't eat them as fast as they're out here. There are literally millions of them. There's a damselfly. <laughs> right there. Bunches of them under these branches. Yeah. There's one right here. So no surprise, they're out here in the sun where uh, they can get warmed up. Interestingly, they have no mouth parts because once they come out of the ground and turn into their adult form, they never eat again. That one's pretty big. More than an inch long, maybe an inch and a half long.
there's a nice one right in front of us <laughs> they also make a chirping sound. <laughs> a very loud chirping sound. So I don't know if this one up here is still letting its wings dry, but it's not all folded up like most of them are. This is the Indian Creek itself. All right, this is Joe at the Indian Creek Greenway, looking at cicadas. <laughs>